And this is how you can make refracted text effect in the correct way here in Illustrator. Step one, select the type tool. I gotta go with number three, scale it up. I gotta go with the Noia Has Grotesque Medium. For this kind of text effect, the medium works really good instead of bold. Right click on the text, create outline, and I'm gonna create a new copy. Press and hold Alt, drag it down, also press Shift to duplicate. Now we're gonna swap it from fill to stroke. And let's select the color. I gotta select the line tool, press and hold Shift. And let's go here where they intersect and create a line all the way down. Press and hold Alt, drag it to the right to create a copy. Also press Shift, press Ctrl D two times. Select them all, stretch it all the way until it's gonna intersect at the end of the number. Now I'm gonna create a new copy, press and hold Alt, drag it on the other number. And what we're gonna need to do is basically place these lines where they intersect right here at this point with this other line. So as you can see, it is going to cut in half. So in between these lines is 50% and the right side again another 50%. If you cannot match it correctly, there's another technique. You can select the circle, press and hold shift, make sure to intersect it with this line, scale it up, and then make sure to intersect it with the other line on the right. Now select the direct selection tool, delete this anchor point, press on delete, and I'm gonna push this line up where the intersect here, select the bottom lines, and just bring them out until it's gonna intersect with the half circle at this point. Now I can delete it. I'm also gonna delete this line, and from here, I'm gonna select all. Let's go to the Pathfinder, click on the three dots and select divide. Deselect and select it again, right click on group. And as you can see, we still have some lines going on here, some paths which are invisible. So if I select some invisible area here, it is gonna highlight these paths. So I'm gonna go and select the magic wand tool or you can press the letter Y and I'm gonna click on one of these paths and it's going to select all of these invisible paths, press on delete to remove. Now we're gonna to need to group every vertical shapes, right click, group, do the same with the rest. All right, so next I'm gonna select the widest shape, so this one for example, and we're gonna to go to the transform and we're gonna check out the width size. So this is the width size. I'm gonna press Control A, press Control C, and I'm gonna select the full number and I'm gonna click on this one and it's going to highlight it. From here, let's go to the align, click on these three dots and you can see here we can copy paste the width. I'm gonna press Control A and then Control V. So this way it copy pasted the width of this element here. And all you need to do is click on horizontal distribute space and it's going to add as much space as the width of the shape. And let's do this with this shape as well. Select it, click on one of these to highlight. Let's go to the align, three dots. Now it's already copy pasted here. And then click on horizontal distribute center. From here, we're gonna need to group these. I'm gonna select the top one, press control G. The bottom one, control G, select both. Let's go to the align, align vertical. And then you, all you need to do is just bring one of these and make sure to intersect them. Select both, press and hold Alt and squeeze it in. And look at that. And this is how I make this slice glass on text here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.